Welcome to this first devlog on volleyball. I'm Michael, I live in Paris and I'm developing a volleyball game in VR where you will be able to play beach volley with friends on a beautiful island. The thing is, players are eggs and you will be able to turn them into fried eggs and more. I used to work in software industry for 17 years and two years ago I had a discussion with my wife. I always wanted to create a video game. She's not really into this stuff, she thinks gamers are alone and they never move. Then we tested the Oculus Quest and she realized video games can make people move and have social experiences through multiplayer. So she told me, hey, what about a volleyball game in VR? There was no one on the Quest at the time and I told her, okay, let's do it. So I started to work at night and on the weekends. I first had to find the right game engine. I used to work with Java and JavaScript, so I thought Unity and C Sharp would be easier to start with. But then I saw the much more matured blueprint system on Unreal Engine, so I decided to go with it. Then I spent much time learning it, building small steps of the game at a time. I knew the best way to start with creating games is a solo 2D game on a PC, completely opposite to what I was doing. VR multiplayer with heavy physics on a mobile headset with performance constraints. Never mind, if there is something I learned in software industry, more than programming, it's baby steps. So I started with a VR character and a ball and then I added a stupid AI. Having feedback is also important, so we quickly asked friends to try it only three months after I started the project. And they had fun. This was really encouraging and inspiring. Some kids even told us, hey, players look like eggs. Having fun is a priority, but what's the point of a volleyball game in VR if it's like the real one? We could do much more. So we chose our name, Volleyball, and even more, we had a complete vision with a lot of new features, like turning eggs into omelette and other tasty dishes yet to come. As we are talking vision, it's important to stick with it. So to make sure there is no major risk that would stop us. One of my great concerns was the multiplayer thing and the physics management over it. So I learned a lot about uh, network in Unreal Engine and soon I could play with another player on the local network. But the physics were really bad. I had to learn about lag compensation and work on it and thanks to Rocket League and their conferences on YouTube I managed to have way better physics on the ball. Even if now the multiplayer is still experimental, I know that the game have the right architecture to evolve that way. Then I added score management and multiple AI, a bomb and fireball effect. After that, we decided to release our progress on SideQuest and itch.io, so people could freely test our latest developments and give us feedback. Their comments were really nice. At the beginning of this year, I found a designer willing to freely help us. We started to visually improve volleyball. My wife drew the 2D egg faces and we put them in the game. Life was starting to appear. Then the designer prepared many new stuff, but we faced performance problems and we couldn't put them in the game without significant frame drops. That's when our designer had to leave. None of this would be in the game, but we knew people were having fun thanks to comments. We could not stop here. So we decided to go even further, to create our game studio, Pink Marmot, to raise love money and grants and go professional. We applied to the startup incubator, level 256, specialized in eSport, and we succeeded. After many months of paperwork, I finally left my job and I'm now full-time on volleyball since middle of September. A pro designer has joined me and he did a great job on performance improvements so we could finally integrate the work of the beginning of the year. We also redesigned X expression to animate them and we added arms and feet. And that's what you can see now in the game. We are now improving the player character and hopefully allow for bumps as we have many feedbacks from volleyball players wishing for this feature. We are also working on a tutorial so people new to volleyball can more easily jump in the game. Of course, there is much more to come to volleyball. We want people to play together. We want them to have fun with special eggs effect, like turning them to omelette or fried eggs. And we want to organize competitions. That would be so great, but for that, we will need your full support in the coming weeks. If you want to help us now, please play the game and rate us on the store and on SideQuest. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon in our next video.